Good day to all the viewers at home. Thank you so much for tuning in and for joining us. And you say it's such an honor and a privilege for us to bring you Rainbow Family Church program at the comfort of your home. I am Pastor Pato and this is Rainbow Family Church. This year, 2018, is a year for Great Commission and it's a year for building the auditorium. Two things we want to achieve this year, instruction from the Lord. So this is gonna be a great year for us and we're so privileged and honored to have you being part of what we're doing. May the Lord actually bless you. I want to enjoy the rest of the sermon that is coming up today. It is called Fast Foods and Offerings. I want to enjoy this message specifically for all the people that, are, uh, that want to partner with God in everything that they are doing in their lives. May the Lord actually bless you. Amen. When God is giving us this principle, He is giving us Jesus. And He's giving us Jesus as a young boy. He's giving us Jesus as a child. Because He's giving us Jesus as a child. 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 But it is a process. 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 a process. a process. It is a process. It is a a process. It is a a a Man. So God knew how to create somebody and be a big man. But we see him giving us Jesus who is a baby because he wants us to see that there is a process in the change that we want to see. Even though he wanted to change the world himself, he did not bring a man to change the world. But he sent the son, a boy who is Jesus so that we can watch the process. Whatever you need from the Lord, it's going to be a process. If it's not a process, I eat Hallelujah. I eat Hallelujah. If it's not a process, I see Gankulunku, I see Amudim, is in Tos Gankulunku, in Totamudim, the Yesa Ziben is cut, Yata Dibelina, and you need to wait upon the Lord. Ushoka Huyama Humudi, whatever that God has said, Tongue Mudim, my bulletin, needs patience from me and you before it can happen. And we need to hold on to Him and hold on to His promises because whatever He says, Said, after a little while, it's gonna come to pass. Can I preach this church? That God has promised you that you are not the tail, you are the head. But the process of moving from the tail to the head, it will take a little while. And it needs somebody to be patient upon the Lord and to know that what God says, God will do it. Because God God is faithful because God is able to do what no man can do because God is able to take his own time because God is able to take his own time because God is able to reward those who wait because God is able to change things step by step God is able to lead you one day at a time God is able to lead to you one year at a time it's going to be alright it will not end up like that it's going to take a process all you need to do is to give up upon the Lord those who wait upon the Lord they shall run like eagles they will wait upon the Lord he will do it when everything else has failed Hallelujah. 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 H
Lord. Time. Who done all whereby people. you shall reap. More whatever you said. There is coming a time. Whereby you will reap. Whatever is promised. Hold on. To God's promises. In the name of Jesus. Am I talking to somebody? You are almost giving up. Now is 2018. Everybody else succeeded. In front of your eyes. Lalela celebrate now. Jehovah's 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 trying to live life. But I'm living what was set ahead. Because he did for no. He was so cold. And God is cold. He was a predestinate. For those who did predestinate. He also glorified. I am not trying to make things work out. Hallelujah. It's a matter of time. 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 It is coming. It's coming your way. Somebody celebrate. Something that is coming. Something that eyes have not seen. Something that ears have not heard. Something that the mind has not conceived. Because it is there. In the name of Jesus. Somebody celebrate. Somebody celebrate. Hey, 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 hey. Now, um, what is happening here is that um, these people, uh, Mary, Maria, she is poor. And for her to change things around, it's not been changed around by her efforts. But um nigelo wak. What my nigela ngen dota na yak? What my nigela ngama doves? Unkulunkulu wa shincha inti zio zaban. Mudima afetula di pilota ba. Uguti batate into my seven zelenzima. And they bring it to Mary. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you, when you give to the Lord, God makes sure that there is some treasures that come out from somewhere and they come your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have learned that Mary was, a poor, was poor. But Mary was not poor forever. Because the principle of the word of God. The word of God is able to change things. Jesus could have been a poor boy. Because she, he was born in a poor family. But Jesus was not a poor boy. Because the giving that Mary did, it benefited Jesus. Even though Jesus came from heaven, blessing did not just come from the sky. They came through the principle of giving. Even to Jesus himself, it's the principle of giving that made him to be rich. Even yourself is the principle of giving that will change things around. If you do not adopt the principle of giving, then the principle of giving the principle of giving will not help you. Or you will not make it because of God. You've got to give. Tell your neighbor you've got to give. Tell your neighbor you've got to give. Amen. Now, the other things that we're learning is that God blesses people to come and bless you. As you give, there are some people somewhere that get blessed on your behalf. 
There are some people that receive for you. And those people, when the time is right, God will make sure they find their way to you to bless you. God protects his blessing on the way. Because we are learning that these people, they came all the way from the east. And as they were coming to Jesus, they were carrying so much treasure. But they were not they were not hijacked on the way because the blessing they carried did not belong to them. It belonged to somebody who gave before. Let me tell you, church, God will, pre God will preserve people who are holding your blessing until they meet you. God will preserve the companies that have got your blessing until they hire you. God will preserve the opportunities that were meant for you until you come and you take them. God will preserve your blessing until your time comes. I said in the beginning the things of God, they come in a process. While they are coming in a process, God will preserve them. They will not be lost until they find you. South Africa may go down, but as it goes down, it will not go down with your blessings. Your blessings will be saved. Your inheritance will be saved. Whatever that God prepared for you, when you gave, it will be saved in the name of Jesus. His blessing will navigate its way to you. His blessing will find its way to you. The Bible says these wise men, they, 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 they traveled for two years. I wonder what was going on in their sixth month. I wonder what, what, what were they thinking in their one year, two months. They are still walking. They are trying to find a person who has obeyed the principles of God. Your blessing will travel from very far. It will pass people. It will pass educated. It will pass the experience. It will pass the people who are worthy until it finds you. When a blessing is is it's bypassing people. Cornelius. What Cornelius? Your giving to the poor has not gone unnoticed to the Lord. So the blessing of the Lord will navigate its way until it locates you. Kutangiti has been looking for you for many years. But he's a tall and I'm sad. It's going to find you. It's going to find you. Hallelujah. The, the, the blessing that they gave to Jesus it kept Jesus well for the rest of his life. And who 
God will never neglect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send Nigel and Chalo. No, no, Nigel, no, Nigel. One man's a water blessing. Young and figure. Yes, that to some wise men who carried the blessing and they delivered to him. As you are giving Mzalwane Wam, when I want to receive a blessing, I receive a blessing. I receive a blessing. Amen. So the blessing he received kept him rich for the rest of his life. How do we know he was rich for the rest of his life? Even at his death, he was still having clothes that was so expensive that they even threw the dice to try and get him because it was expensive clothes because Jesus was rich while he was on earth not that he owned a business he owned a blessing he owned a blessing no, my son, I guess, cut or slindile. I'm a thirty two years. Thank you, Lemon. Thirty two years, good Jesus. Go to Yeza. Masai Figile. You will never be poor again. So, even at his death, he was still rich. So when you have a blessing of the Lord, even when you die, you will leave an inheritance for your children and for your children's children. When you have a blessing of the Lord, when you die, you will not be a, a burden to people, but you will be a blessing to people because your blessing will overflow. But to David, my cup overflows. When you are blessed, blessings will find you and there will be no room enough. Somebody give God a hand of praise. Let me close by what is a blessing. A blessing is it, you know, go by a blessing, I see a million rand. A blessing, I see a motto. A blessing, I see a double story. Go to blessing, unkulunkulu, kaboloa. Blessing, go unkulunkulu, kaboloa. Manga benkene mpilwe niyako. Akwense, wense zi, ntobo nga kwa suku zenzi. This is how we see the blessing of the Lord. Number one, we see it by the covenant. When we say you have a blessing with, law, with the Lord. We're saying you have got a covenant with God. That means a divine partnership. Amen. A partnership. He learned in which my went to business on the corner of the one who told him when you want on my skills on the now so that when you partner together, then you can do what you could not do. That is partnership. The blessing of the Lord, it is to partner with God so that you use what God does not have. So that God uses what he does not have and you use what you do not have, you put them together. What is it that God does not have? God does not have hands. God does not have the mouth. God does not have the legs. So you are using what God does not have and you're putting together with what God has. What is it that God has? The earth belongs to him and every Everything in heat belongs to him. Now the partnership is a blessing. So a blessing is partnership with the Lord. May you partner with God this year. As you are applying for, for a tender. May you partner with the Lord. As you are doing a business. May you partner with the Lord. Because partnership is power. The partner is an Indian person. My partner is a white person. My partner is a black man. But the, the partnership I'm talking about, it is better than a white partnership. It is better than a black partnership. I'm talking about the heavenly partnership. When you're blessed, 
you are partnered with the Lord. May you have a partnership with the Lord in the name of Jesus. Partner with the Lord in whatever you are doing in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God a hand of praise. Praise Him for the partnership. Oh, Dalu Zama partnership. Sanga Sabenza. Bakselimali. Bakshia Machaleni. Koto Gulo Nyaga. Sinom Shobo. Ogu Jesu. Partner with the heavens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second thing that we see the blessing of the Lord is the talent. Blessing of the Lord. He gives you a divine ability. He uses the talents you have. He empowers the talents you have. He magnifies your talents. He makes the talents that never made anybody rich. He magnifies it that it makes you prosper. The talent that many people had better than you and they ended up nowhere. When you have the blessing of the Lord, the talent will make you rich. I don't know what talents you have, but may the blessing of the Lord be upon that talent and that talent will profit you and that talent will make you rich. Somebody give God the hand of praise. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the third thing that the blessing does, the blessing gives you wisdom. And what is wisdom? Wisdom is divine intelligence. It is knowing what to say and where to say it. Oh, hallelujah. It is knowing, it is meeting the right people and saying right things to right people. That's the wisdom of the Lord. The Bible says wisdom is better than money. You know, you may not have money, but when you have wisdom, it's a matter of time that whatever you do, it will bring money to you. May you have wisdom in Jesus' name. Church, may you have wisdom in Jesus' name. May wisdom be your portion. Oh, hallelujah. Rich people with no wisdom. Wisdom, because they, they, they mess up things. People in big position know wisdom. They mess up things. May God give you wisdom before he gives you money so that wisdom brings you money. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody say, I receive. I receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. Can I preach in this place? The, the next thing that God gives you God does not give you millions. He gives you relationships. He gives you relationships. What are relationships? Relationships are divine connections. Relationships are divine connections. There are things that you will never be able to do in life until you are connected to certain people. There are things you will try that will not work out even though they are brilliant ideas. They will not help you. They will not help your company. They will not help the business. They will not help South Africa until you've got divine connections. You need to be connected. They will work out for you this year because it is about the connections you did not have last year. May you have divine connections. May you have relationships in the name of Jesus. Even if you don't have money, but have divine connections, have divine relationships, those relationships, they will work out for you in the name of Jesus. There are good relationships, and they lead them 
Delete them from your life. Cut them off from your life. Because God is bringing people. People of His own heart. God is bringing people to South Africa. South Africa. That will connect the right people to the wealth of the kingdom. God is bringing people to Rainbow Family Church. That will connect us to our divine wealth in the name of Jesus. I see right people. People coming your way in the name of Jesus. Can I prophesy that in the Moshotanga relationships? May you receive divine connections. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other thing that God will do to you when He blesses you, He will give you favor. What is favor? Favor is divine access. Favor is divine access. And divine access makes you to have access to where you were not able to get into. Until you went to Until you went to appointment. May the blessing of the Lord give you divine access. May the blessing of the Lord may give you divine access. Access in business. Access in contracts. Access in divine levels. May you have divine access. May you have Hallelujah. See a manka, Kajanu Kamaka, Kenati, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. May you have divine access in Jesus' name. I'm not just preaching here. But I am opening doors. Somebody will make it. Divine access. Somebody will make it. Divine access. Somebody will rise. Divine access. Give God a hand of praise. My God. Hallelujah. The other thing that happens. It is the covering. God gives covering. And what is covering? It is divine protection. God will protect what you already have. God will protect the legal that you have left. When you give to him, he protects what is left. When you give him 10%, he protects the 90%. Over in King Gonayo, up to 100%. He will go by Loko or Nako. We are not there. He gives you protection on the 90%. Now, when you understand the protection, it doesn't matter how much is left. As long as it is safe, it will make you rich. Even if you give 50%, the remaining 50% will be protected by God. And if it is protected by God, it will make you rich. When 100% percent did not make you rich because it was hundred but not protected. You need a divine protection. This year what you need is a divine protection. This year what you need is a divine protection. Hallelujah.
I'm so sorry you wait that's all the time we have for for today but I know you've been blessed with something you know you can go to our Facebook page which is Rainbow Family Church Martin SA you can go to our website you can go to our YouTube channel and I'm sure you'll find some things that will still bless you I'm so excited that we're bringing this kind of gospel to your home and please tune in follow us everywhere you can if you're ever around Martin please come by and be part of our services God bless you amen Thank you.